<laughs> Holy shit. Bro, I, I remember, I'm sorry, I just had this like flashback to something. Okay. I remember I did like, a, a, so we had to do a presentation during, do you have registration in Australia? We just do like a short presentation um, between like, it would always be one of the students presentation each day. Well, why would you have to do a presentation on what? Just about something you fucking learned. It was some fucking pretentious what? bullshit. <laughs> what at, the, at the start of the day? Yeah, you have to do a quick presentation about something you've learned that day. Oh my God, that so sounds was, awful. So man. I was like, <laughs> I was like 14, right? And, I, and, I, and we were, we all fucking hated it. And this teacher was horrible. So my, 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 my best mate in school had a really bad like stuttering problem. He got a lot better now, but every, everyone like loved this guy. Mm, yeah. Everyone just wanted to see him do well. And this one teacher was so fucking rude to him about his stutter. And it was so, and everyone was like, yo, all my homies hate that teacher. So all, we were all just like, we all took it in turns, like trying to see how much we control in these presentations. Yeah. <laughs> I did a pro gamer move. Yeah. I was like, you know what I'm gonna pre present? 9-11 conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> I shit you not, I shit you not. What? And I dead ass think I got the teacher to believe me. Right. I do not know how I got away with doing that. Cause right. that is bad. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. I couldn't do this now. I think you got, you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> no, exactly. You're, you're gonna fucking lo love this. So what happened was is that Again, I was like, I was like 17 when I did this. It was like Age of Empires. It's like, you, I'm sure you know that game. Yeah. They literally were doing a competition where I was like, you can voice in the game. And I was like, yeah. fantastic. Wow. And so they, they big wanted- big IP, right? Yeah, so yeah. they wanted Nigerian accents. And so I, I quickly open up Google tab, go to YouTube, oh. Nigerian accent example. Right. Listen to some guy who's Nigerian speak. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I can get close to this. Wow. <laughs> Submitted an audition, didn't think anything of it. Yeah. A year later, they're like, yeah, so um, yeah, we use your lines in the game. And I'm like, can I re-record them? They're like, no, no, they're, they're, they're in the game. It's out the now. The game oh, came out yesterday. <laughs> it's out now, I'm like, what? <laughs> That's amazing. But I didn't like sign any contracts or anything. So I don't know if like- just, Did you get paid That's for cool. it or? Yeah. Uh, they paid me like 200 bucks. I'm like, thanks, pat me on the back. Like get them out of here. Right, right. I, like you got I'm it. voicing some <laughs> archer in some DLC that like never wow. appears. And my mate is obsessed with Age of Empires. Right. Wow. And he, just, he just messaged me one day. He's like, I think I found you. Do not worry. You are not alone on your journey. Our village is on the other side of the river. When we reach, what? it is yours. Yeah, that's me. Yo, this is way worse than I thought it was gonna yeah. be. Yeah, so bad. Like I remember they didn't like this one guy in my dorm because he was kind of pompous. Mm. He was like from South England and he had a very posh accent and he was very, very like, oh, you're you're too poor to talk to me. Yeah, immediately <laughs> sounds like a wanker. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, was, he was like an asshole, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah. And, and he would like, Unironically, call people peasants. Like I call people. <laughs> like, like I, is, is that how? Is that where you yeah, got it from? That's where I got it from. Because I peasants. thought it, I thought it was so funny that he called people peasants, and and he used to think that like I was laughing at the people he was laughing right, at. Right, right. But right. I used to find it so funny that we're in the year two thousand, and yeah. he's using the word peasant as an insult. <laughs> so he would call the, these rugby players to their face like peasants, and he's not like big, but they knew yeah. they shouldn't punch him. Right. Yeah. So what they would do multiple times was like piss on all of his stuff in the middle of the night Jesus and like Christ. leave it outside. Yeah. So they pissed in all of his like uh, kitchen stuff. Yeah. And so he went to go and cook the next day. Right. And he, he was like, where are my pans, Connor? And I'm like, look outside. <laughs> I, the I, have I, taken I, I, told, I told them they shouldn't do it, but yeah. you know, what can I do? <laughs> but yeah. I did not stop them. I was like, I'm like oh, oh no guys. I, I, I was that now. guy in university who was like not hated and not like bef like in their group, but I yeah. was just like, they liked me enough where they would like tell me the shit they were doing, but yeah. Would never yeah, they expect... wouldn't fuck with you. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, they yeah, wouldn't yeah. fuck with me. Um, they would always like meet in my bedroom for talk. It was weird. <laughs> so they would piss on all of his stuff. They got completely ruined and, and they bullied oh, the shit God. out of this. So it was, it was Halloween, right? And we had right. a little rivalry with the, the bungalow next door. We were in bungalows, by the way. Right. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you have a rivalry with another bungalow that was full of dudes, what, what would yeah. you do to get back at them? And I was outside having a, a can of lager, right? I was watching them do it. And I was right. like, I'm not gonna be involved in this, right. but I'm gonna watch this. Yeah, yeah. of course. One of them decided it would be a good idea to like take a ship through their mailbox, <laughs> right? So, <Okay. laughs> so they did that and then they retaliated <laughs> by getting that shit, yeah. putting it in a Halloween, a uh, pumpkin, sorry, yeah. and throwing the pumpkin at one of our, my friend's windows <laughs> and then just exploded. <laughs> it was so disgusting. <laughs> then they were like, watch this. And then one of the rugby guys was like, I'm gonna like, smash their door in as a joke. I'm like, that's an amazing joke. Yeah. That's so funny. Were you uh, in like the really cheap dorms? Oh, I was in the ones that cost 70 bucks a month. Okay. okay. A Christ. month. <laughs> I had like 
what would have been like a psychiatric prisoner room. Like, it's like the bear, but bear, but they gave us a mattress and I wish they didn't yeah. because I immediately, when I got there, I pick up my mattress and it's bright yellow, the bottom of it. And I'm like, oh God. <laughs> and I, I remember I remember getting homesick the first day. I'm like, mom, I can't do this. This yeah. is disgusting. Like, yeah. <laughs> cause it was literally like a tiny room with a shit stained bed. Right. Yeah, I learned like, you gotta, sometimes you just gotta say, Fuck everyone else and put yourself first. Like sometimes, <laughs> I mean, I, I, uni, I learned that afterwards. As yeah. uni, people will just fucking take advantage of you. If you're oh like, yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Because yeah. Like, yeah. like, like, th there was only like one bus that made it to the campus on time. Like, mm -hmm. like it was like right, a half right, an right. hour bus. Right. Yeah. It's only one bus. And uh, this line would be fucking huge to get on this bus. So if you were late, it was just whatever. Yeah. And I got to the point where I was just like, I'm gonna be so late for my lecture if I wait in this line. Yeah. I would literally just like, when people were getting on the bus, I would just walk just to the front of the line. Just, and just push get on. in, yeah. I would, I would literally just like act as if I was on the bus. I would just walk up. Yeah. Bus. And then everyone would look at me like, the fuck, we can, you can do that? <laughs> <laughs> there, there was like a guy in the house next to me, the one that got pooped in, um, mm. as you gentlemen know. Yeah. <laughs> as we all know. And he was like, basically like a neo-Nazi and he was really fucking weird. Mm. And he would always come over and bring like two 40 year old women and, and he was like having threesomes with them both. And he would exclusively refer to them as like sugar tits. Like, <laughs> did he like time travel from the fifties? No, like, like and, and he was like, and I remember one time because my friends- Give me sugar tits. So yeah, he was like, he was, yeah, he was literally like, like that. My, my friend was telling me, he was like, yeah, it's, it's really weird. He was like mixing chemicals in his room. And I was like, bro, <laughs> tell the fucking university people. Like, what do you mean he's mixing chemicals in this room? He's you're really like, you're really doing a good job like selling on whales. He like talks about guns too much. Mm. He, he brought up like mind camp, like an uncomfortable, <laughs> like an uncomfortable amount of time. Right. Like I remember his excuse for not doing an assignment was because he was too in depth into reading about Nazi history right. and how interesting it was. It sounds like an episode of Peep Show or something. It is, yeah, 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 it is, it was. Points, the blacks, the packies, the Jews. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what we all want, a, a racially pure nation. Exactly. <laughs> I luckily never had to deal with it, but my friend did. And, yeah. uh, apparently one time uh, he, he had, my friend who was telling me all this had borrowed something from the, the neo-Nazi character. Mm. Yeah. And um, he, he, it was in his room and his, his room was locked. And so this guy didn't want to wait 30 minutes to do it. So he just took all the bolts off his door with like a screwdriver set and right. just removed the door and went in right. and never gave him his like door back, like the stuff. <laughs> so like, it was like 3 a.m. and I was walking yeah. to the hotel from the Airbnb and yeah. it was already sketchy as fuck this oh, area. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And there was like a woman crying on the floor in a corner and like this guy with no shirt on, just shorts, like tattoos all over, he was like, five foot, no, like four foot 10. Yeah, like, yeah, he right. was small as fuck. And he was like malnourished. He had like no teeth. And he was just screaming at this girl, like threatening her in the corner. And I was like, well, shit, I have to like say something. Right? Yeah. And so in my awkward British self, I was like, hey, um, could you could you stop doing that? I think she doesn't like it. It's like what I said. Right. Yeah. And he's like, who the fuck you think you are, man? Who the fuck you think you're like talking to me? He's like, yeah, he's yeah. like I think he was like Hispanic or something. Yeah. yeah. And, and and he he was like, like squaring up to me. And I was like, that man, come on, just leave her alone, man. Like she's clearly like not wanting to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. When I say talk, he was just screeching at her. I don't know what happened. She was yeah, on the floor right, right. crying. And so when he comes over to me, she runs off. Yeah. Yeah. He like is like this close to me, yeah. shouting in my face. And I'm like, okay. What, what's gonna happen here? I'm just gonna walk away now. Yeah. And so like, he grabs something from his pocket. I don't know what he's gonna do. So I just push him over and run away. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Cause I'm like, fuck. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the guy clearly was on something. Yeah. Like, yeah. He was out of it, like spouting nonsense. Like he wasn't talking English. Right, like, right, I mean, right. he was trying to, but you know, I mean, I don't know what he was on, but he, it was scary. <laughs> I got banned from my uh, anime uh, club Facebook group because they were talking about like Helsing abridged. And I was like, oh shit, I voiced in that. I said in the comments, I was like, yeah. oh yeah, I voiced in it. And then they banned me. So they, thought I, <laughs> they thought I was lying <laughs> because they were like, they were like, why would someone in our university, you know, first year be voicing in Helsing abridged? It was in that group for like a year. And I made one comment about that. I got immediately banned. Have you ever had hecklers at a panel? Yeah, one time. Really? Yeah, they were well, like- What, what happened? Awesome. So 
Oh God, it was at a fucking hentai panel. I, I offered to like conventions. I'm like, hey, do you want me to run a hentai dubbing panel? Yeah. Um, and essentially what it is, is I just get a bunch of hentai and I blow out the subtitles right. and I'm like, wing it. Right. Like, just just make shit up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People are fucking terrible at it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's what's funny. But eventually you'll get like one person who's actually like really fucking funny. Right. Yeah. And that's what it's for. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, one time I was doing it and there's this dude in the back he must've been like 30 something mm. just on his own. Mm. And he was just sh shouting cringe, cringe, right. cringe the whole time. And I was like, do you want to come up? He was like, no. And I'm like, well, get the fuck out then. And everyone was like, <laughs> <laughs> golf claps. And then, and then they clapped and everyone <laughs> no cheered. Joke, no joke. <laughs> God, it was terrible one I time. the fuck off. One time there was this hentai and it was brother and sister. Mm. Right. And a brother and sister came up to dub it. And it was the most. The first thing I'd ever done in my life. Jesus oh Christ. God. It was terrible. Yeah, that's cursed. It was yeah. so cursed. You found probably the only used product in Japan, which was your fridge. Oh that yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about that? Yeah. That's, uh, I'll, I'll let you tell the story, oh but it definitely God. was not in uh, so, immaculate shape. You know, we had spent a lot of money on moving, right? <laughs> yeah. As anyone knows, moving yeah. is very expensive. And Maylene kept telling me, a uh, book walker kept telling me like, dude, just buy, buy all your stuff on Craigslist. It's like dirt cheap. <laughs> and I thought, well, you know, it's- Great it's, idea, Maylene. Wow, well, call her out, call her out yeah, like this. Yeah. <laughs> I, and uh, you know, I thought, all right, well, you know, Japanese people are really great with like keeping their stuff immaculate. It was like 50 bucks, right? For a fridge and a laundry- like, uh, That's already a red flag. Right, right. Right. A guy from like New Zealand or yeah, something. Yeah, he was a Kiwi, yeah. Yeah, he just turned up and he was like, all right, I'll, fuck, yeah, I'll fucking install the uh, the machine. Is that you. your Kiwi accent? Yeah, I'll fucking it. It's just I'll like, fucking I'll, fucking, I'll fucking install it for you. And I, so he was like, yeah, I'll install it for you. And I think I discussed with the person on Craigslist that they were going to charge me like a tenner for installing. Yeah. Right, right, right. So the guy was like, oh no, fuck it, mate. And so he installed it. And then like, I got like, you remember? I got like, like angry fucking texts off the person off Craigslist. They were yeah. like bombarding my phone. I picked up the phone and then there was like an Indian woman shouting at me, being like, right. why didn't you pay him the 1000 yen? And I was like, what the fuck? Shut up. Like, I, like <laughs> cause he said it was cool. I'm like, he said it was fine. Why yeah. are you fucking spamming my phone? Yeah. Next day I open my fridge. There's like five cockroaches in my fridge. <laughs> It was like, I was like, holy fuck, right? No wonder they didn't want a foreigner in their house. Right. Imagine being the only foreigner in your building and that guy has cockroaches. Like, it's the, like- The cleanest country in the right. fucking world. Um, I swear to God. I'm the asshole who brought cockroaches yeah. into this place. So I bought a cockroach spray. I, I fucking tore this fridge apart, right? Yeah. I literally tore, you know, like the felt that you have on fridges? That yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. tore all that shit off. I took everything out. I bleached the fuck out of this thing. Like I, this, my my house must have smelled like a murder scene being yeah. cleaned, right? I bleached the hell out of this thing, and it was the most vile thing. Like you know the the felt thing, right? I was yeah. shaking it out, and like yeah. maybe like a hundred cockroaches must have fell out. Uh, and I, I I don't even want to know the living conditions of the person who sold me this fridge. But fuck you if you ever watch this, you are horrible. I, so that was my first experience buying used in Japan. <laughs> so, uh, and I and t like months after, I kept finding finding one or two and I'm like, how? I bleached everything. Like oh. there is no reason these things should be existing. That's cockroaches 101, man. Exactly. Once you thought you got rid of them all, they're still around. So yeah. now I got rid of the fridge because I just thought enough is enough. This thing looks disgusting. I threw it out. I, I just got a flashback. I After I did that host club video, I got an email from a prostitution website in Japan. <laughs> did you actually? They were like, and they'd sent me videos of like on live leak of people filming oh. prostitutes undercover. They were like, this is what you can do if you want. And I was what? like, what? <laughs> that so doesn't they, sound legal. So I, was, I was on the train and I was like, yeah, I'll open this link for some reason. I opened this link and it was like boo, 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 18 plus. You know, like, like, and I was like, fuck, fuck. And, uh, but yeah, they were like, if you want, we'll arrange escorts for you and you can film the whole thing. And I'm like, Film what? what? Yeah, and I, I looked at it and it was like, it was legit. There was like videos of like, like someone had like a secret GoPro yeah. or something and, and they were filming it and it was really- That like, doesn't sound cool. It was very disturbing. Yeah. Like, well, and I quickly turned it off when, when they started talking about what acts they were gonna perform for what price. Oh my God. And uh, yeah. the, the only friend I, I, friend I did have, you know, uh, turned out to do some really fucked up shit. Oh right? yeah, so yeah. I used to, oh, wow. should, I just, should I just tell the story? I mean, I've mentioned it. I mean, okay. I know the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah go, go for it. So fuck it, I might as well say it. Um, so when I first started making Black Butler content, which if you don't know what Black Butler is, it's a, a, a Victorian era anime about a servant and a-, a It's 93% the anime. <laughs> <laughs> it's very targeted towards, you know, a female <laughs> audience. And I found a person uh, who, who 
insisted on being called CL. That's how into this character they were. Right, right, right. right? And I'm at the time, you know, they had a big following and we were known together and everyone just thought we were like best mates, mm. but like, I always thought they were really fucking weird. Right. <laughs> first of all, I used to just do the Sebastian thing. And the moment the camera turned off, I was like, I'm gonna go and play games. Uh, I'm done pretending to be a butler. Yeah. But for them, it was like, they, were living they never it. turned off the persona. Right. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You couldn't like not call them that because they would be like, what the fuck? I'm called CL. Okay, also, also one thing they did that was really sus is that you know, when we collab together, you don't ask for money from me. We're no. collabing. We both had YouTube channels. When, yeah. I, when they were on my channel, they would ask me to pay them. What? And I used to be like, that's not how YouTube works. No. When you collab, it's a mutual interest, you know? Yeah. So I met them once in person after about a year and a half of not speaking to them. Mm. And there was like two other people there right. who looked very, very young. Like, okay. like I asked one of them, I was like, how old are you? Cause they, it was really weird as well. Cause they were like attached to them. Right. And I thought that's really weird. Like they wouldn't, they would take it in turns holding on to the person. Right. right. I thought, wow, that's really sus. Eight, eight months later, right. I get a DM on Discord of, hey, you should see this. And it was a link to a local police report. And I thought, what the fuck? And it's like two, two counts of uh, molestation and one count of felony molestation. Oh. And I think, oh no, aggravated molestation, which I think is under 14 years old. Yeah. Um, Bruh. Uh, and then yeah. I, I felt really guilty for ages. Cause I was like, fuck, did I help them? Did I help them like, like, did I facilitate this by giving them more of a platform? Like, yeah. it was just fucked up. Yeah. Someone came up to my thing, this, okay, this is back when uh, the 93% was still a thing. Oh yeah, yeah. And some some guy, like uh, you know, like 13 year old boy came up to me and I'm like, that's weird. Why is there a guy in my line? <laughs> <laughs> and the so, 7%. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so he comes up to me, he's like, oh yeah, yeah. He took, took a photo, did the signings. Like you're yeah. the author of Goblin Slayer, right? <laughs> 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 no kidding. Oh, and I was God. like, you don't look like Japanese. Like it's it's Connor story time. It's Connor story so we time. get a graphic Connor, Connor story time. I went what? to the DMV. Gather around the camp. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is already sounding. This horrible. is not a campfire story. This is already this sounding. Is a horrible horrible story. Story. So I, I'm not sure if it's because of COVID, but right now only ten people are, are allowed to get a foreign license a day. In the whole wow. prefecture. So it's what? like first come, first serve. Yeah, so whoever's there first gets it. If you don't, you have to come back at 2.30 and wait. They gathered us all around and were like, hey, uh, some of you are gonna be rejected today for no reason. Um, <laughs> they literally said that. They said, what? they said, we might reject you and not explain why. And what? I'm like, what? What is what? this YouTube demonetization? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? I've come here all day and you have to bring like so many fucking documents. You have to get like your license translated at a different building. Yeah, yeah, Wait yeah. a few days for that. So you haven't got it yet? No. I After have... waiting, how long did you How long did you wait? I left at 4 p.m. and I got there at 8 a.m. And it's an hour away <laughs> from me. Eight so. hours. Yeah, like eight hours You total. wasted a whole day. I lost a whole day. To not getting a license. To Fuck. Yeah. I just had like so many flashbacks of hanging out with random people that went terribly wrong. Because, <laughs> okay, you've all been there, right? Everyone goes to a convention, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, you've got to decide, I really want to go to this convention, but fuck hotel rooms are expensive. Right, so right. it's like, how many people can I fit in this hotel room to reduce it to a point where I'm comfortable, right? Like <laughs> yeah. if the hotel doesn't ask you how many keys you want, it's like, there's two keys between six of you. And yeah. it's like, how do we- <laughs> How do we distribute How do we yeah. decide who gets a key? Yeah. Right. Like, that no. sounds like a nightmare. Fucking, I, cause I was like the pseudo leader of the group. Right. Um, and there was just so many fucking problems. This was kind of like, I don't know, I was like gonna make mates, you know, with you. I was planning to hang out with you guys for the majority mm. of it. Oh, was this the first AX this that- This is the first AX I went to. You spend to. most of your time with us. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. So <laughs> I had told the people I was staying with, like, hey, this is like straight up, just like a room thing. Like mm. I'm yeah. gonna be hanging out with other people like mm. for like 99% of this. Told them yeah. that many times. Mm -hmm. I think like one of them, like didn't quite get the memo. And he was like really hoping that I would introduce him to like everyone and right, be like, right. yo, he's my best mate. He's, hey. <laughs> and the problem was, is uh, he was a fucking creep. So right. like, I didn't really want to hang out with him. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, it wasn't like, at first he was a little strange, you know, he was an American and he was like a military dude. Mm. And in yeah. my experience, military dudes are like 50, 50 on whether they're like totally chill or just fucking psychotic. Right. I, 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 to I, I actually totally agree. I've, like, I've, I've I, met so many military dudes and there is no in between. There's no in between. Either like they're I, a fucking psycho or they're the yeah. most chillest dudes every, you can ever, ever everywhere, imagine. Everywhere I've met, it's always like that. It's like no, they're like no chill. Right. Yeah. So he's like kind of nice, you know, he's, he's whatever, he's a little weird. And mm. then like one time I remember I met you at a party 
And then like he was texting me the whole time. And I think I mentioned where I was. Mm. Yeah. And as we're leaving this party, do you remember this? Like, yeah, I remember this. We, we, we go outside and he's waiting there at like 1 a.m. He's like, hey Connor, how you doing man? Can I join? And we're like getting an Uber and I'm like, uh, no man, we're getting an Uber somewhere else. I, I'm really sorry, man. Cause like, it's like, how do you introduce it's like kind of creepy because yeah, everyone, yeah, yeah. everyone's already seen that he's waiting outside and it's really creepy and it's yeah, like- yeah. It's the over enthusiasm. I, and I didn't know him. So, and I, I got kind of signs that he was a bit creep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I didn't want to bring him in because I was like, if I bring him to this party and he starts like fucking chatting up Giga all night, like, hey, man, I love your videos. Can we take a pic? Can I, can I smell your penis? Like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like kind of looks terrible on me. Right, so right. I was like, nah. And the party I'm, was at my house. So I told him, I was like, listen, man, like, I'm really sorry, dude. But like, I, I, I don't really know like Gon or like mm, anyone in this group yeah. pretty well. Like I'm, I wouldn't invite you. I just don't feel like yeah. comfortable doing it. I explained to him and he was so pissed off. And- uh, He was pissed off. He was so pissed off. So then I came back at like 5 a.m. to my shitty hotel in like, uh, it's the like suburbs of LA. And right. like, at this hotel, for some reason at midnight, all the cards reset. So if you came back after midnight, you'd go to the front desk, but the front desk wasn't open. All right. So if you right. came back after midnight, you'd hope someone else is already in the room or just wait out your door till 6 a.m. till what? someone comes. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah. So he was in the room and he'd been like drinking alone in his room. <laughs> And I felt really bad, but right. so I'm like, hey man, let me in, let me in, whatever, you know, it's like 5 a.m. Like, dude, I really want to fucking sleep. So he, he he opens the door and comes out block, oh shit, blocking the door so I couldn't get in. Right. I'm like, yo, what the fuck, man? Like, let me, let me in. I want to sleep, it's 5 a.m. <laughs> and he's like, absolutely hammered. He's like, listen, Connor, I saw you were cool, man. Oh, why, <laughs> why don't you let me party? I'm like, dude, I'm like, dude, I'm so sorry, but like not now, man, it's 5 a.m. Let me yeah, sleep, yeah, we can, yeah, talk, yeah, about yeah, we can yeah. talk about it in the morning. Like near the end, one of the other people's in my room, they called me up and he's like, hey, uh, he just tried to pay me uh, to suck his dick. And I'm like, uh, what the fuck? Uh, all of that weird shit aside that I had to deal with, yeah. I'll fucking do it again. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, but you fucking do anything. <laughs> For content. No, I mean, that was fun. I mean, like the convention was fun. I mean, the convention fun. was fun. Yeah, that, yeah. that was a nuisance, but I, I don't mind meeting a new person I for the first time yeah, in my hotel I don't want. Room. I don't want to pull a gotcha roll where I might end up, you know, sleeping with a fucking murderer, you know? I don't like, mind yeah. that. I'll take that off, you know? <laughs> you might get the fucking coolest friend for life. So essentially there was this time where I was doing a fan call as Hitalia characters, which she, that sounds Great. like cringe already. All yeah, right. so I was, doing it, I was doing it with someone else who was doing another voice. Mm -hmm. And we were on the call with the person. And I thought like there's some weird breathing sounds coming from them. But like, I was like, huh, sounds a little weird, but I didn't think much of it. Was it, it Maylin? <laughs> 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 You bring a Daki Maka of someone from like Vampire Night. Yeah. She'll, she'll get like that. So like, yes. So like what happened was is that we were on this call. I thought that's ah, weird. And then when we got off the call, it was only like six, seven minutes. All right. I was like, was that, was that weird? That call was weird, right? And he was yeah. like, oh no, I don't, I don't think so. But I was editing the audio. Yeah. So I go back and I listen to the audio and I'm like, she's definitely nodding. That ain't like, that isn't like, <laughs> That isn't like hyperventilating breath. That is like, yeah. it was like slow, deep breaths. That's, yeah. So this is one time, this is by far the most uncomfortable. I, so I didn't do webcam. It was only ever voice. But yeah. one time they were like, can we do webcam? And I was like, all right, sure. I mean, what, a one-off, right? Like, I'll, what, what? what's the worst that could happen? Yeah, of webcam? course. Yeah. Yeah. What's the yeah. worst? You guys know what happened. Yeah. But, yeah. So, and then I'm like, okay, sure, sure. Let's do it. Let's, let's do webcam, whatever. You, you know, you've been, you've been on the Patreon for a while. We can do this. So. We boot up the the call. I turn on my webcam. She turns she turns on her webcam. Uh, yeah, she's naked, she's fully naked, but wearing like body paint. But like you can, like the look on Ash's face. <laughs> yeah, he's fucked. He's fucked. Oh my he's god. <laughs> luckily, you know, she was overage, which is yeah. dodged well, the ball. Luckily, 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 thank God. Otherwise, finna finna get arrested immediately. Yeah. But I was like, oh, this is it. I I remember. I just remember the canonical order in my head. Um, I went to the Black Butler meetup. The one canonical time. order. The canonical order of the, of the this is head cannon. This is head cannon. <laughs> this is head cannon. All. So this, I, this ain't the filler arc. No, it's no, the no, canon. No. So what happened was, is I this was like my first ever AX, and I can't remember how long I was doing YouTube for, but I thought it would be cool just to go to the Black Butler meetup and just like be like say hi, hey man, like mm. yeah, I'm I'm the guy on YouTube who does all the Black <laughs> Butler stuff, right? Right. Um, and just say hi and just, you know, it was just, just to meet them mm. and just meet all the fans of Black Butler and just be like, yeah, this is fucking sick. And they were yeah. all really nice. And there's one person who's like really, really nice. A year goes by, right? And I go to the, you know, they're, they're messaging me telling me, oh, you have to come back to the Black Butler meetup again. I have a big surprise for you. And so I go 
uh, yeah, Lord behold, she's just holding the baby. She's like, oh, do you want to hold Connor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Connor? And I'm like, oh, that's a funny coincidence. And she's like, oh, no, no, it's not a coincidence. I named him after you. And I'm like, okay, this is fucking weird. <laughs> this is fucking weird. <laughs> the fu- My favorite ever photo is of you holding baby Connor still out with there. the most uncomfortable smile I've ever seen. How do you even react to that? Uh, uh, just pure confusion. And again, you got to understand God. I just go with everything. I'm yeah. like, face, I'm like, his face holding the baby's like. <laughs> so yeah, no, one one time, uh, like, you, like you said, like the, the mothers bring the daughter, uh, the daughters bring the mothers along. Yeah. yeah. Um, and one time there was like, they were both really big fans. And I mm. thought, wow, that's so fucking cool. Mm. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I didn't really think much of it. And like, she was like joking, being like, oh, you, you, she said I look like, like Tom Cruise. And I'm like, I do not look like Tom Cruise. <laughs> I look quite the opposite of yeah. Tom Cruise. <laughs> Is this uh, basically every Reddit post who has like a white guy with a beard and yeah, like, that looks like Connor that does. Oh yeah, it's Connor, man. Connor, like, white beard checks out. <laughs> Connor. And then I was like, ah, oh, okay. And then they were like, oh yeah, are you, are you seeing anyone? Like legit asked me this. Like while her, <laughs> Wait, while the I, mom was? Yeah, the you? mom asked me that while I'm <laughs> signing the daughter's autograph. And I thought, oh, someone uh, gave me a piece of paper. Uh, and they were like, this is for you. And on it was the, was the hotel key card and room number that was signed. And they and, and it was said, uh, there was like times where I could go. Right. And uh, there, cause there's a person at the desk next to me who was helping, you know, manage the, cause when you get the money, you hand it to them. And yeah, 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 yeah. And they were like, bro. And I'm like, do you want it? You know what I don't forget though? Cause it happened to me right yesterday. What? You're stopped by the police. What do you mean? What did you do? I'm a criminal guy. What, did you what do? illegal activity that you did? Being you white, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Being a minority for once. <laughs> what, wait, what did you do? Nothing. I was so I was literally nothing. <laughs> I, I, and by the way, like my like, like my train is in like I think like four minutes. So right. I'm like, come on, man, come on, like, yeah. Yeah. Keep, keep it up, keep it up. So he looks at my card and it says like, oh, I'm an entertainer. Yeah. He's like, oh, cool, cool. What do you do? I'm like, oh, I say, uh, say you, which means like voice actor, voice actor. Yeah. So yeah, like, yeah. commercials, games. He's like, oh, games. I'm like, yeah, yeah, games. He's like, what games? And I was just like, I was like, I'm, what, what do you want me to like? You gonna look it up? Like, what do you want? So I'm like, oh, it's in English. It's in English. And he's like, oh, and it, dead ass, right? He goes, oh, do you play Apex? <laughs> <laughs> no joke. He's like, he's like 40, maybe 50. Dead ass asked me if I play Apex. So I'm just sitting here like laughing. So I'm like, fuck. My older brother, he was growing uh, Carolina Reapers. Yeah. And um, why? Well, <laughs> That's a good we, question. Because well, yeah, yeah. uh, he won, he likes spicy food. But yeah. um, one time, uh, this was right before I moved to Japan. He he gave them to my parents and he right. told them that they were like normal peppers. Oh my, why would you do that? <laughs> that is truly <laughs> evil. <laughs> so like, what happened? That's a true crime story. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so what happened was is that they were like, oh yeah, they were saying like, oh, Brett's been growing some uh, some peppers and he's, he's, he's given us some. Right. So I'm gonna put them in the stir fry tonight. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. I didn't know yeah. that they were- they were Carolina they were, Reapers. They were Carolina yeah. Reapers or ghost peppers, one or the other. Yeah. I mean, they're both fucking- They're both fucking hot. But yeah, no, bear in mind, my parents, do believe that paprika is spicy? I'm not joking. They'll probably. They, my dad watches the podcast. He'll be. He'll be like, "You're lying, Connor." Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm. I'm eating this stir fry, and I'm like, I'm getting kind of like, <laughs> I'm like, Man, this kind of what this hurts, <laughs> and I'm thinking like, oh whoa, uh, my mum, what, what peppers did you use? She's like, oh, uh, this is your brother. He grew them and gave them to us. And I'm like, did he say what kind of peppers they were? <laughs> so no, no, he just said he grew them, and I'm like. They got a little kick to them. <laughs> 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 I was like, they got a bit of kick to them. I'm like, because <laughs> they put all of them in, like seven or eight. All oh of my them. I, I warned them. I was like, I was like, I really think I'm like, I'm like, bear in mind, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, really think that you should like go easy on the peppers on yours. If you can like yeah. kind of get them out a yeah. little bit, I think you should do that. Like, no, no, it's fine. We've had it before. We've had these peppers before. <laughs> Pictures uh, taken before a disaster. <laughs> and then at that point, I was like, you know what? Fine. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's just see what happens. <laughs> let's just see how this unfolds. So I'm there, like literally, like that that meme of that kid at the the vein in his forehead yeah. after just eating these peppers, trying to keep a straight face. Like, <laughs> and my dad, he's 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 about to eat it. He takes one spoonful, and he's like, mm, yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's really, <laughs> that's really spicy, huh? Why, why? <laughs> and he was just like started like crying. I thought it was so funny. And my mum thought he was over-exaggerated. Right, right, right. So my mum was like, oh, I'll try it too. Oh my God. <laughs> and my mum starts doing the exact same thing. She starts fucking going, <laughs> after like one bite. <laughs> 
<laughs> they just couldn't finish it. They just started drinking milk for like 20 minutes. What did they expect? They were just dying. It was the funniest shit. I don't know. I don't <laughs> yeah, because uh, he took you on plenty of uh Yeah, I went on the test. On it. Yeah, yeah. I, I got shit in the car. I'll tell you about that. Remember that? You I got shit in the car, remember? Have we told out on- No, I haven't. Have, have we told about that on Trash Taste? No, we so, haven't. Uh, we were driving in this Tesla <laughs> in the countryside. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and, I, and the Tesla cause it had been sitting there all day. I had the window down. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I can't remember exactly what happened, but it was like we were driving along this really country road. Mm. And then he's trying to show off that it can go like naught to 60 and like, you know, yeah. as every car owner does, they have yeah. to prove that the car is fast. Yeah. As if normal cars don't go fast. So we're going fast and as he speeds up, there's like a machine that spreads manure. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So as, it, as it's spreading it, we're going by, and then before oh, I know no. it, I'm like chilling like this in the car, and then suddenly just a fucking wave of manure starts hitting my face and goes <laughs> in the car, and it's launched into this Tesla. And then yeah, everyone is doing that thing of like, oh, 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 oh God, oh God, oh. And then there's just shit everywhere in his Tesla, and he just got it cleaned. Picture it, I was at my uh, my local bakery and uh, I go to go and get my favorite item. They changed the recipe. They changed the item. It's no longer the same. It's They substituted the the, the the materials that made this fantastic piece of food. What are, what are the kids called that again? Pain picker? I used to get Dairy Lee Dunkers all the time in the UK, also, yeah. even as an adult. It's like this, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's called Dairy Great. <laughs> yeah. so it's kind of like, um, like fake cheese cream whip. Yeah. So they made they made that in the UK, uh. right? And but then I think they changed their recipe when I was like twenty years old. Mm. They changed how they made the cheese, and it mm -hmm. tasted significantly cheaper. And it why are we <laughs> eating that at twenty years of age? Bro, don't question why the fuck I was eating that twenty years ago because it was really good. Like it was a really nice snack. It tasted amazing, and right. I loved to get it. And it was a blast of nostalgia every time. Right. And I and I, they had it in my local supermarket, and I would get it. And one time I got it, I bought like a four pack, a big like a uh, like a family four pack. I stocked up. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. I, I I I dug in. Right. I opened it up, one bite, and I'm like. They've changed it. They've definitely changed it. I, I, it's definitely I, not me. I asked my friend, I was like, listen, did you have the old one? They were like, yeah. And then I gave it to them and they were like, they were like, okay, try it, try it now, try it. Like try this new one. Tell me if it's changed. Mm -hmm. They were like, no, it doesn't taste any different. I'm like, when was the last time you had it? They were like, over a year ago. I'm like, you wouldn't know then. Yeah. You wouldn't know. Cause it's There's a no, slow, gradual it's a, it's a, change. It's one yeah. year, you wouldn't know. Yeah. So I emailed the company. Did you actually? Yeah, cause I wanted to know if they did it. I wanted to know <laughs> if I was being crazy, right? Right. Yeah, you're definitely fucking crazy. Wait, wh that's for wh sure. Who did you email? So the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the email on the back of the packet. Yeah, yeah. So they, <laughs> so I found I found the company online, right? And right. this is only because <laughs> I wouldn't have done this if my friend didn't say no. They didn't change it. Okay. I was like, I was like, they changed it, and they were like, they didn't change it. I'm like, they changed it. And so I found out the company. It sounds like a deleted I scene from American Psycho. Yeah. It's like, yeah, this is so I, 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 I understand this sounds stupid. Yeah, and I know this because is it is. It sounds like an Always Sunny episode. This, but I wanted, but <laughs> I was- The gang realized the cheese yeah. is wrong. Because, because I, I don't know. Connor goes to the fucking factory and be like, tell me the truth. I know you're lying to me. I wanted to know because I wanted to know if I, if my taste buds have changed or mm. if I was being crazy yeah. or if, you know, I, I just needed to know. It was driving me insane. Okay. Yeah. So I emailed them, right? No response. Mm. And I was like, what the fuck? So I call up their customer service. Cause I'm like, now I need to know. Cause I didn't reply, <laughs> right? So I call them up and I asked them and I'm like, hey, did you change the recipe at any point in recent time? And they were like, hmm, can I get back to you? And I was like, oh, you're not gonna get fucking back to me. Yeah. No, I mean, I had other stuff to do. <laughs> I just ignored it. <laughs> Clearly, I, I, I admit, clearly they weren't that important then. Are you, are you telling me uh, you've never procrastinated in intriguing ways on your work? Uh, yes, but I, I, yeah. I, 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 wish, I, I bet. I wish I, I bet. could say I, I could procrastinate in intriguing ways. No, it's never an intriguing no. way. If that is what is the, the benchmark for intriguing, I then just no. Load up I, a, I just yeah. load up a meme on YouTube and yeah. I'm just like, Fuck. I just like, I don't know, play a game. <laughs> a year later, I got an email reply 
saying that they had changed one of the like uh one of the aspects of like the cheese or something that they did mm. and i was like i felt vindicated bro i felt like you know how like when you watch those movies about someone being wrongly convicted in court and then mm. they finally get out i was i felt like that like i was like thank you thank you guys i'm finally free i'm i'm, I'm out by that's I'm a fun I'm story <laughs> <laughs> this is right okay this is why people on the comments are like why does con have so many stories because i just say yes to the dumbest shit thinking like okay if this goes horribly wrong yeah. at least i get a banger of a story out of right, this right. probably so i'm just like <laughs> yes i'll do that thing that's probably very questionable yeah like <laughs> sure let's go there let's do this thing because i'm like i'm gonna get a banger of a story out of this i love that Oh